Hi there, welcome back, I'm Frozen Melon, and today we'll be doing a bit more of the mercenaries mode. We do have a few things here, so we've got some new mercenaries that arrived here. We've got Edwin, Mr. Smite, Cookie the Cook, and also Sneed as well. Well, looks fit. And again, they put a new pack up there, which I suggest no one to ever buy. And we've got a few new contracts to have a look at in the Blackrock Mountain. So that is quite interesting. Again, in the shop, this is kind of what they've got available at the moment. I think like a lot of this is kind of a bit redundant and ridiculous, but whatever. Monetization is whatever they like to do. But what we're doing again today is having a second crack at Ursula Windfury. Because we did get ourselves taken out last time. I think it's more the fact that I was just trying to upgrade cards when I really shouldn't be doing that. Here, I should just be having the best team set up I possibly can do. Rather than worrying about, like, all oh, these to get up as high as they can. Or anything else. So, let's just put the usual back in play. And then we can continue on from there. And see how we get along with this team now. So, let's log it in. So we've got a Resurrect there, Resurrect on the left, with the Mystery on the right, so we can't get that one, or that one, so, yeah. Okay, so we want to put out these more than anything else, and then I think also putting out another healer as well is a good idea. I can taunt this up or something. Which is probably what I'm going to do first of all, is just taunt that up, lower that attack, and then deal the fight with both. Joys. I think they're in that there, dealing damage to everything. That is all good. Now you can heal yourself. Heal yourself. Does that go off beforehand? No, it does Job's not. Done. So there's no need to do that one. We'll see that one. Really? Venom. <laughs> it just starts to get a little bit on my nerves. That, like, what are they doing? I really should have checked what speed it was, but even then, like, I don't think there's much I could have done about it. Uh, maybe I could have lowered this attack. That's kind of my own fault, but... Hey-ho. Yeah, I think that's pretty good to pick up. Then, yeah... Take the Resurrect, because we'll need that. Which does lock us off from the mystery, but that is fine. Yeah, I really should be kind of focusing a little bit more on uh, what I'm doing and... Ah, so some of these will actually probably be coming out later if they're not already out. Playing both of those. Rise. And probably playing the Anaconda out as well. It's probably a good idea. And then we're just going to try and take them all out as can. So six damage, just throw. That doesn't do nothing then. Attack. And they will attack the same minion. And that gains taunt. And takes three damage less this turn. So everything should attack the taunt minion. 
Smash again. The taunt on that. Job's done. Yeah, and try and take the big taunt minion out as quickly as I can. I think healing you, heal yourself, summon a big beast. Attack in there, do the heal, heal yourself. And you attack that. So heal, heal, heal. You're attack in there. And of course that goes off first. <laughs> so it's just... Uh, yeah. Should be fine then. And heal yourself up to make sure. I still quite haven't figured out the AI with this on just what they're deciding to do. I mean, I think most of it seems simple enough, but yeah, I think passive there is pretty good. Yeah, and we get another resurrect, so at least it's not too wasted. Our party's back up to full strength. And we've got three fights to try and win without losing anything. So, what are their abilities, what they do again? Turn turn, deal 3 damage to all frozen enemies. So anything that's frozen, is something to watch out for. That's fine. So I can play what this, which I think is a good idea. Die. Playing this for the taunt. And technically, you've got the buff on you, so... Yeah. So all my alliance heroes get a buff, so that's good. So what are we choosing here? So increase attack, deal frost damage, attack, attack three, freeze those who not cast so believe this turn. Job's done. If I attack, do you go? Yes, you do. So that's good. So we can do it that way then. In which case, I probably want to take you out as quick as I can. And you're going before that one as well. So that's fine. So this hopefully should be able to kill this off quickly. Now you're going to gain taunt, you're going to heal, 
and we're going to set up your grace. Again, heal yourself up. Lower the attack and deal six to both. See what happens here then. There we go. At least you didn't lose someone this time around. Uh, gain humans cannot be critical. Actually, just getting a buff on there for the human side is going to be useful. Okay, so I can see the beast. Okay. So, probably I'll play these out earlier on. And I'm going to put the healer out as well. So, they should all get a buff with. Yep. So what are you doing? I was doing one with bleed. I should attack you. Attack you. Attack you. Get that out as quickly as I can. Because I think that's the real issue one. Yeah, random. Heal yourself there, and then start whittling that one down. This one, Job's done. yeah, 16 damage is fine. Like, they're not going to do too much. This is the problem with this attack all the time. So, heal yourself up, heal yourself up, and then. Do the increase in speed here. That should be this one down as well. Level overkill. That needs to be done in my opinion. And yeah, I think the Purple Ice Wolf, the setup early on is going to be good. Don't ring off facing against Millhouse, I'll take the Chill and Yeti. So yeah, I will agree, I think getting to that stage where if I kind of had a combo setup, things would be a lot easier. Warriors. So both those out. Either as well. I think that's the best choice. Kill this one off first. Do that. Because I think this is a more pain in the backside one. Exactly why. Yeah, I don't, I, I don't get the why it keeps swiping. Oh, is it because of this one? I must be losing my mind. Anyway, all right, we're gonna taunt you up. I 
and then we can lower your attack. And attack. We're going to attack. That should kill it. Right? No, it doesn't. We'll do it that way then. There we go, so we've leveled up. As well as the max. So now Varden's fully maxed out on that stats. Can we crit? Steal 6-6 six, six from a random enemy. Yeah, I think that's going to be really good. Just because if I'm facing it's a boss that's got something there, a lucky hit could be uh, what I need to win. So, all orcs have wind fury at the end of the turn. Steal two attack from all enemies. And restore orcs to full health. Uh... What knowledge do the stars provide? So I think the first one to take out will be this one. Just because it's stealing to attack from all enemies, it's going to be absolutely broken. And I need to take it down as quickly as possible. I think I need to at least play both these out. I can't target his abilities that well. So I probably want to play like the best I can out early on, which will probably be these three here. Admittedly, this doesn't get a buff from... Oh, it does. Didn't realize that. But I need to take that out as quickly as I can. And I think this is one of the only ways of doing it. So that's fine. They've still got to go through that. That still goes off. And that should then kill him off nice and quick. Okay, so I think setting up the taunt on him, killing that off is going to be really good. Setting that up now is going to be a good idea. So next up is to kill the other ring fast here as quickly as I can. That's been frozen. I think doing some heals here is a good idea, and then using the best ability on that is, is what I should be doing. And taking that out. Doing that, and that should be that one down as well. Nice. So now you're fully healed. Um, you're going first, attack left and right most minions. Restore health. If I give that taunt, that might go first. Do the heal there, then maybe that'll be good. Sharpens my axe. 
Again, just trying to force that damage through as quickly as I can. Just make sure this dies anyway. So I think playing this out is the best. Attacking, getting the taunt. Again, attack, attack, and attack. Should be game. There we go. So, not too bad second time around. Especially jumping to the boss for the first time itself. So now we have that done. Let's see what coins we get. I don't know if that means we've got any ability to upgrade, but we do get to face against Ice Hell next time round, which I think, yeah, is the bounty we get to complete. So, we can do that in the next one. Double check there's no other ability to upgrade. Actually, we do have something for Mergul, which you can upgrade his ability there with the Fishy Barrage. You can get another achievement for. Once again, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.